My guest today, Mark Anthony, is engaged in practicing extreme social distancing with his bride-to-be, Marina. He lives in the States, and she lives 5,800 miles away in Moscow, Russia. He says their relationship is struggling because of this pandemic. They are supposed to marry on May 25th, but he's wondering if they are even ready to tie the knot. We'll meet Mark's Russian bride-to-be, Marina, a bit later, but first, Mark Anthony is joining me on Zoom from Las Vegas. So, how are you doing today? Terrible. How are you, sir? Well, I'm sticking in. I'm, no. I'm hanging in there. <laughs> I, I uh, wanted to see if you listened. You did. I God bless you, Dr. Phil. It's a uh, thank you for having us, and uh, it's a real blessing to to be here with you today. And I truly respect all that you do as a spiritual man and uh, in your field of science and psychology. So thank you very much. It's an honor. Well, you're welcome. This has got to be hard for you to uh, be head over heels in love and over five thousand miles away from your fiance. I don't have a problem in a sense social distancing. But yes, social distancing from Marina has been very difficult. Um, we are actually quite opposites to begin with, um, actually quite polar opposites, and I affectionately refer to her as polar bear. So uh, yes, with regards to you know being this far apart during an engagement, um, let alone just trying to see if we can get to her birth date of May 25th for marriage has been excruciating at times, to be honest, Dr. Phil, really excruciating. Well, uh, you're almost 60 years old, and you've never been married before? Uh, no, sir, because uh, as lighthearted as this might sound, you have to have a, you know, a fiancé to get married. You have to have a girlfriend to, have a, to get a fiancé, and you have to have a date to get a girlfriend. And whether I was very, you know, playboy, if you will, in my early years or, uh, you know, selective in my later years or now almost desperate, um, no, I, I've had a couple engagements. None of them worked out. Why Marina? Why is she the one? Well, you know what? That's a great question. And if you ask me, I want to ask your professional and even personal opinion as a spiritual and blessed man. Uh, I'm sure you know of the express, expression casting lots. You, you know what that is, right? I do. I do. Okay. Um, just to give you a quick little story my mother's nickname who was the most beloved woman in my life her nickname was lots and she um died on well i was probably 19 it was actually 1982 she gave me this beautiful diamond horseshoe ring she has an identical one that i always you know thought was really cool on her sadly that was her, basically her last year of life and her last words to me were, stretch, find yourself a nice girl. And I've been on the hunt to, you know, to do that ever since. Now, what I mean by casting lots is I'm under this marriage principle. I call it a match made in heaven. It's something of a ministry that since I can't figure out the right woman for me and nothing seemed to work, I said, whomever, I, and I've asked every woman of the thousand basically to marry me. Sometimes, you know, they think that's not the right thing. They think that's kind of wacky. But to me, it shows my intention and my depth. So I asked Marina on my birthday, December 18th, to marry me. She immediately said yes. At first, because she speaks Russian and is bilingual, I didn't think she understood the language. So I had to double check. But she said yes and immediately allowed me to set the date of marrying her on her birthday, May 25th. This Marina, you say, I noticed, and you say she looks like your mother. Yes, sir, she does resemble my mother. Mark Anthony says he's not sure Marina is ready to be his wife. I'm going to ask her what she thinks about that when we meet her next. 